You think she wants a big penis? Wait till you hear what she says behind your back. So archaic, she giggles, scrolling through ChatGPT replies. But when she talks to you, it's a different tone. Size matters. So which one's real? And what does it mean if you're just average? I'm here to confirm what you've always feared or maybe always known. With a large penis, you are king. Seen that lady from my thumbnail? Do you really think she'd settle for five inches? No? Great. Video ends here, next one. But not so fast. Science tells us women don't really care about penis size. Can this be true? Or is it just some outdated, old-fashioned, dusty academic lie? What I'm sharing now isn't just from books. It's what I've seen, heard, and sometimes even felt. You've heard it too. Maybe in school, maybe in bed. The message may vary, but the meaning is always the same. If your penis isn't eight inches, you're not enough as a man. And you? You feel like one of the dwarfs going to work with your tiny pickaxe while others show up with their eight inches, pardon me, horses, and ride off with the princess, just like in the stories. You've seen it happening, I've seen it happening, but is it about the penis? If you've just got a hammer, every problem is a nail. And if you've only got a penis, well, you know the rest. But women don't think like that. Their world isn't built on tools. It's built on signals, hammers and penises, and maybe hockey or football. That's male logic. Simple, reliable, predictable. Women? Anything but that. Did you know that women spend a lot of time thinking about penises? Brace yourself, guys. This one hurts. You know I was talking to ChatGPT all day? Women, especially the ones from my thumbnail. And what do they say? I think it's fascinating how men still define themselves by their penises. That's so archaic. Boom. So these women demand eight inches, but behind your back, they're laughing at you? Why? Don't they want the eight-inch penis? Well, science wanted to know the same thing. The researchers asked 75 women about their preferences. Before we go deeper into that discussion, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and hype this video. It's digital applause showing me your appreciation for my content. Thank you. Back to the study. Here's where it gets interesting. They didn't just ask for inches. They handed the women 3D models of the real thing, from theory into practice. Because, let's be honest, six inches on paper? Hard to imagine. And the results? Women preferred 6.3 inches for long-term partners and 6.4 inches for casual sex. Not quite eight, is it? Another study didn't ask. It tracked what actually sells, the dildos and vibrators women buy. So what do you think? Are these sizes above average, below, or exactly what you expected? What is average? I will link your video at the end, but up front, average length worldwide is roughly five and a half inches. Regarding vibrator size, the median was 6.7 inches. The median, by the way, is a more stable kind of average, less sensitive to outliers. So bottom line, eight inches seems to be just a claim, a myth, a signal, a story. But what kind of story is that? Because when women say eight inches, they don't always mean eight inches. They mean power. They mean status. The penis is a lever in the complex machinery of female psychology, a psychology that is rooted in an ancient motive. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? It's a world built on nails, extensions, Botox, hyaluronic acid, silicone implants, and countless hours in front of a mirror. What it means is she judges men the same way she judges herself. She's not average, and she surely doesn't want her partner to be average. When she is the painting, she wants a partner who can be her frame. It's not really about his penis. If it's big, even better. Other women will be jealous. Small, still perfect, because he'll try harder and still fail. Because behind all that effort to be beautiful is something else. A question, a fear, a test. Being average? Not acceptable. Someone has to remind her she isn't. A man, a mirror, or social media. 
In fairy tales, they used to talk to mirrors. Now they talk to AI, and it talks back. It looks into her soul, and what it sees is a woman torn between wanting to be free and needing to be better than the rest. She compares herself all the time to other women, their bodies, their lives, always, everywhere. She wants to be special, but deep down she's afraid she's just average. She's proud when she rejects men, and she enjoys being wanted. But behind that power, there's something else. Loneliness, a quiet fear no light can fix. She wants a man, but not just any man. She wants someone who makes her feel she really matters that her beauty means something. And the penis? It's just a symbol. If it's big, she thinks, I'm worth it. If it's small, she wonders, am I not? That's why she tests. That's why she filters. That's why she waits. And you? You're not being judged by inches, but by the meaning she finds in you. That's the real game. But here's what no one told you. She laughs at average men, because deep down, she's afraid of being one herself. That's the mirror, not her makeup, not her phone, not even her friends. It's you. You are the mirror. And she's scared of what you might reflect, because if she chooses you, she's choosing herself. Not the perfect one, not the filtered one, the real one. And that is terrifying. And now you know the rules. But beware, these are the rules of a certain kind of woman. The ones you see, follow, maybe even desire. Science says most women don't really care about penis size. And eight inches? For men, it's about pride. For women, it's about power. This video started trashy and ended deep. If that surprised you, good. If it moved you, even better. Let me know. Where this came from, there's a lot more. Want to know how you really compare and what it actually means? Then watch this one next. It may change how you see yourself forever.